I'd tell my wife. Nothing tattoos quality on its neck like unity. But uh, in this particular case, don't worry too much about quality. Try to suspend your hunger for a AAA title for once. Because even without skill, this is definitely something worth looking at. Hey folks, it's Grimwit, and this, this is Crypt World's Your Darkest Desires. Um, I have not seen a good explanation for this game, so I will try to explain the game as best I can. This game is extremely ironic, and harkens back to the days of GeoCities, when web crawler was still a search engine there's a lot of mess but there's also a lot of effort and i think this game deserves a little attention because of the effort all right let's start a new game welcome to my realm i have called you here on important business the fate of this world the legions of Dendigar have managed to displace the five goddess relics and render me powerless before him. It's getting me down. Dendigar is now making his final preparations for total destruction of the Crypt Plains from his base of operations deep in the tunnels of the Black Crypt. It must end here. And even worse, dark whispers from the Void discuss the return of the Chaos God. It would be utter chaos if it was revived. These evil jerks with their disdain for order and lust for crime will ruin my cool world if they aren't stopped. I spent a long time making this place, you know? To regain my powers and crush these obnoxious pests, I will first need to get back the five goddess relics which I have now lost. It's very important. When you have recovered them, come find me in the depths of the crypts. You have 50 days before Dindigar ruins everything. I'll be waiting for you. Now wake up! Okay. Let's begin. This is Crip Worlds, and we have 50 days. That should be more than enough time. This is our bed. We're in our home. Here's a picture frame of the picture frame that is holding the picture of the picture frame. Yes. Irony. Here's a picture frame of some dogs playing cards, which I believe is necessary for all pictures. And here is a picture of our bed. <sighs> in this game we have very few controls which are outlined in the instruction manual that it comes with. Wads of course move forward, back, left, and right. Our left click is to interact so we can do things like this. That was our own voice. This is from the days when you worked in the Hell Zone. I like the overall design, even though the sacrilege is gratuitous for my taste. Huh. I don't know why it would say that. It is clearly a purple snowflake. Aww. This one loves me. I got this when I was trapped in the Eye Realm. I don't know if I love eyes by any means, but I definitely have some deep-sated deep-seated emotions surrounding them. Hmm, what else can I look at? That will just make me sleep. This goes someplace. We'll go there in a second. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Ah! Nancy Reagan's poster. It reads, Winners don't do drugs. Well, alright, I guess. Whoa, I forgot. The clipping on this game is kind of funky. This is a very well-rendered uh, telephone. It's Spico. Yes, Spico here. My advice, get out of the house. You might be missing something. See you around, kid. Beep, beep. Mm. This symbol is a P symbol. P 
Piss is very important in this game. This is our garden. We will put things in this garden soon. Ah, an alien or a goblin. I'm not certain. Hmm? Pay me no mind. I'm just watching. Pretend I'm not even here. Well, all right, I guess. Yes, I'm I'm pretty sure I can see the corner of that skybox. Hmm. Anyway. Let's start with downstairs. I call this place the basement. It is full of archaeologists. For some reason, we have built our home on a very important archaeological site. Let's talk to these people. He says, I wish I was a trash collector. It's not dissimilar from being an archaeologist and much more respectable. I have to agree with that. Some of my best friends are trash collectors. Of a kind. I never asked to be born an archaeologist. I also understand this feeling. But I'm not going to explain further. Being an archaeologist isn't much different from being a grave robber, except you don't make any money. As you can see, these are self-loathing archaeologists. Ah. This guy will dig up deep ruins for us at a low price of 10 gold, which is actually quite cheap. Unfortunately, we don't have any gold. I should probably explain. Over here is our inventory. Gold, seed, meats, crumbs, bones, and days. I guess we collect days as a number of inventory. I wonder if I can use that somehow. Over here is our face. I assume we're happy. I assume that's our face. Actually, later on, we'll see a statue of ourselves. And yes, that is our face. Start a new dig? Certainly. Oh, we don't have enough gold! Exclamation point. All right. We're going to go into this tent. The term, I believe, is intertransdimensional. I'm pretty sure that's Dendigar. I love how, like, everybody's got just a tiny clip right there. And I have no doubt that that was done on purpose. Smell that blood. Smell that bone. Even thinking about it gets me excited. Whoa, whoa there, buddy. Calm down. It's okay, friend. Hey. You're not Dendigar. It's Sammy. Hey, it's me, Sammy. You know, Dendigar's cousin. Oh. Identical cousins. Got it. Well, lately I've been very worried about him. He keeps spending all his money on rare candy. And he isn't able to pay the rent. I sure hope I don't have to evict him. Oh, well. Tilde exclamation point. Ah, this is fire. We are immune to fire. This will come in handy later on. It would be neat if I could just light everyone on fire. I felt that way in high school. I would sooner die than stop sacrificing these archaeologists. It's true. I'm really an... Am I really an anthropologist? Academia says no, but my flaming dagger says yes. It's a complicated situation. Life's hard sometimes. Me? Well, of course, they'll never sacrifice me. I mean, at least not this year. Honest. I don't know who he's trying to convince. Himself or everyone else. You fool, you'll never understand the ways of the ancients. Well, apparently the ancients liked giant iron effigies. With mittens. I'm cool with that. Ah, I told you being immune to fire would come in handy. What does this guy have to say? Of course, he is in a flaming pit. I imagine he couldn't say much. <laughs> yep, he is saying ah. <laughs> he is also saying ah. <laughs> They're all screaming. <laughs> it's hard not to be ironic in this game, especially with their intertransdimensional TARDIS uh, tent in my basement. 
Believe it or not, we'll be in the basement over and over and over again as time goes on. This being the first day, though, I figured I, I should probably introduce you with what's under our house. This game eventually, once you kind of scrape by all of the irony, you start to realize that there is a message to this game. And I'm sure the creator would deny that with all of her being. But there is a message. There's something to be said about routine. And we're definitely going to learn the routine. This is a fruit. It gives us seeds and piss. I assume it, we are eating this fruit. Ah, up in the corner is a very important meter, our pissometer. In Crip's world, you can interact in one of two ways with things. You can either click on it or you can piss on it. Right now, I do not wish to waste the piss because piss is very important in this early stage. Once we get our first piss upgrade, it will be a little easier to waste piss. Here we go. That gave us two more seeds. Here is a hole to piss in. I'm not going to piss in it yet. That is for later. Here is a pilgrim. Pilgrims is one of the, shall we say, races of crypt worlds. This one likes to buy things for gold or I guess sell things for gold. Let's, for example, uh, this person sells 10 gold for five seeds. They'll also sell me 15 gold if I give them five meats, and 20 gold for five crumbs, 50 gold for five bones. These are in order from uh, least valuable to most valuable. Uh, I cannot sell any of these things, so of course we're going to try and sell her some bones. Get out, get out. You'll end up as mere bones yourself if you keep this up. Ooh, I didn't realize she said something different for each of these, uh, each of these options. That's cool. Let's try to give her crumbs. Why would you try to sell me something you don't have? I'll put you on the list. Watch out, jerk. Let's really make her mad. You're a real nerd. Ouch. That hurt. Awful. You don't even have five meat flakes. Well, if you ever shape up, you owe me scram. She's not giving me any gold, so I don't know what I owe her for. She's just trying to sell me ten gold for these seeds. I don't even have five seeds. What sort of farmer are you, huh? Huh? I like to imagine everybody with a New York accent. Ah, this table. This table will become important later. That is all. Let's see here. It's been about eleven minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it good here, and we'll take this slow. There's no reason to go very fast in this game. However, we have some seeds. Let's plant some seeds. Oh, I, I wondered what happened if I tried to plant meats. My finger actually slipped. There we go. Seeds take about two days to mature. Alright, that will end this first episode of Crypt Worlds. In the next episode, let's go and meet the villagers.